Well, uh, blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah Elohim, the mighty God of Israel, has spoken with me on this day. And uh, this is a very, very powerful conversation that took place this night. This night, some hours towards the morning, the Lord Jehovah lifted me up into heaven. So he lifted me up into his glorious kingdom of heaven. And then from heaven, the Lord now showed me the ministry of the two prophets of the book of Revelation, chapter 11. From heaven, I could see. Then I saw a very tremendous meeting, a very shocking meeting, a very, very huge meeting. From heaven, I could see, made me see now from above. Then I saw... As there was a big meeting, a huge meeting, mammoth, I don't know which meeting this is, or it is part of all the meetings, but uh, at that meeting, which looked more like Kisumu, then I saw the two olive trees. I saw them the way they were towering high, right from the ground of the earth. They came very, very high up, two green olive trees, next to each other, one on the left, one on the right, standing before the Lord of all the earth. This is a very serious conversation regarding the dispensation and the time we are in. It's a very, very serious conversation regarding the eternity of the church. It's a serious conversation regarding the end of history, the end of time, regarding the glorious kingdom of God that you are all preparing for. I saw the two olive trees, very huge and very stout and very strong from the earth, towering very high, very high all the way into the heaven, standing before the Lord of all the earth. I am reading the book of Zechariah chapter 4. Zechariah chapter 4, I'm reading verse 14, even verse 13 to 14, he says, he replied, do you not know what these are? No, my Lord, I say it. So he said, these are the two who are anointed to serve the Lord of all the earth. In other words, the prophets of the book of Revelation chapter 11, the ones that come to do battle against the Antichrist and the false prophets that are coming up around the corner here. And so... They are the ones that come to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah and secure the church into entry, the safe entry. They safeguard the exit of the church into the eternal glorious kingdom of God. And you can see that they are drawing their power from the anointing of the Lord, from the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The olive trees themselves are the source of the olive oil. And so that is the power of God the Father himself that empowers them. But this speaks so much about the coming of the Messiah and how the clock in heaven has ticked. These two olive trees that the Lord has shown me today again, standing very high, towering very high from the earth, very strong, very mighty, above everything, above all the buildings, above all the people, above everything on the earth, and they towered very high towards heaven. Remember, Again, the month of February 20th and 25th, 2018, when the Lord showed me the same two olive trees, when I was standing there, and the other prophet was standing on my left, and then the Lord was right in front of us, and then all of a sudden two mega olive trees did grow from both of us and reached up into heaven. So this is a very shocking time, a very dreadful time. The only thing you need to avoid is blackmail. Stay out of blackmail. That one, the Lord has told me, no blackmailer will enter the kingdom of God. So make sure that you clean yourself from that, that act. And be holy and receive Jesus. For without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. Repent, turn away from sin, live a holy Christian life. You remember the visitation when he showed me the church taken and the blackmailers all remained. So make sure that you receive Christ Jesus through repentance and be baptized in complete immersion 
and receive the Holy Spirit and walk a holy Christian life, reject sin, zero tolerance to the sexual sin. This sexual sin you see destroying this generation. Sexual life, cut it out. Sexual sin, cut it out. If you can cut sexual sin, all the other sins you can cut out. Deception, lies, perversion, all those things you cut out. Stay away from sexual sin and be born again properly because only those that are born again properly, I have seen them enter the glorious eternal kingdom of God. The Messiah is coming. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. To the Ahaverim. To the to the to the Shalom. This is he about whom it was written that in those days I will send you the dreadful prophet Elijah. But bear in mind the law of my servant Moses that I gave him at forever. 